So I saw a handful of you guys kind of discussing this issue and I wanted to weigh in my opinion on it. So the question is, is Liel getting too big? So for some background, of course, Liel started as five and that's how they announced and they had their anime. That was season one. We had the five girls and you know, it kind of makes sense. You know, five sided things is a star. But then we got season two and that became nine. We added four new first years. So the original first years became second years. But, you know, count on and the five. When that count on now being a second year, we got four new members that made nine. But now we're going to know it's going to go bigger in season three with members like potentially Wien, an unannounced character, and maybe Kanon's sister, which could potentially make it 12. So I, I had a poll and I asked what you guys thought about this. So what do you think the ideal size for Liela is? And a lot of you said five. The original five, that was what we had in season one. But the second most, it's probably, you know, saying expand for the nine, which is currently is, which is about a third of you saying that 11, 12 or bigger than 12. So continue to see it grow with the least popular option being nine, which is what it is right now. So a decent amount of you wish it still stayed the original size, while some of you like seeing it grow. So I'm going to grab a few of your comments to talk about the each size so trying to play a little devil's advocate here let's start with five and a lot of you really really seem to like the original five because it was something unique and different and that you got to really see more of the injured girls shine especially in the voices more opportunities for each individual girl getting a bunch of solo parts and the fact that you know liella with less members meant more time to focus on each girl in the anime and that is definitely true and that was what was unique about Liella is that with such a small group, we got a really different feeling for how Love Life Superstar is. And the fact that, you know, all the others had nine. And to see these girls interact in a way which is kind of interesting. And in fact, they're all first years, you know, there was no someone being clearly superior. And then we got to see that a lot of their things, including like the name of the group, they have a five shaped star there, which of course goes to really show that, you know, there's five members in each of the group, one girl each rep is for a side. And that's generally the amount of size we think for a star, not nine or 12. And we saw this everywhere, like the Love Life Superstar logo. We got to see that literally in their first MV with Hajima Wakimi no Soda, we see a five shaped side star prominently. And we actually still see that today when outfits and current songs that came out where they're all wearing five side stars. So it's definitely a thing that's still the thing, but like when we had five members, that star five sided star had more meaning because it was one for each of the members. Now I guess it's more just a reference to the original five, even though they're kind of nine. So it definitely isn't as apparent. I don't think that's the end of the world or it's crazy important, but you know, it definitely kind of feels almost a little odd. And you know, not many people really think about a nine sided star when you talk about a star. But of course, the fact that we got. A really truly different feeling that was different for Liella because when you think about it five was a very odd number until you know superstar became a thing not a lot of songs had five people singing it which you know it, it was kind of what made it unique and it gave it a really different feeling and we could individually hear the voices better when five girls are singing especially when compared to nine when it's a lot harder because a lot of the group the voices melt together when there are so many but of course we are at 9 now and some of you did like 9, some of you really like the fact that 9 is kind of like the magic number. And you know, we do know it worked, especially with Muse and Aqua. In fact, if you even look at the first opening back in Season 1, you can see this scene here which made a lot of people think 9 balls, a bunch of different colors. So clearly they had the intention, or this was a crazy accident, that the fact that they had that. But it clearly showed, yeah, they're probably going to move to 9. Obviously, that's still not the case, but we don't see any more balls here. Unless the big white ball is another one. We'll have to see about that. But the thing is, is a lot of people do like the girls that have been added. So, we've gotten the opportunity to see Mei and Kinako and Shiki. All of them have been proven to at least get into the ranks and do pretty well. If you looked at the polls that I've done for the characters during Season 2, you would notice is that some of these girls that were added were more liked than some of the original five so that there was a good impact on people overall for the addition of these characters 
So if we never got to nine, we would never got the opportunities to see these girls and the relationships. We would not have Mei and Shiki together, and the all the other shippings that that could potentially happen. So that's definitely something that you don't get if you just stayed at five. And of course, some of you really do like the new girls, and the fact that we moved to nine gave you an opportunity to find someone else that you really like. Some of you feel like five members was just boring and of course the thing about having less members is the less likely you would have someone like the characters because there's just less there so they each of the individual girls play more prime importance so having that then of course can magnify you not liking the group as a whole because you know i don't like two-fifths of the members but when adding more members there's more likelihood to get there and there's more fun stuff that could happen with more people, more chaos, and more things that could potentially be interesting, of course, if executed properly. And some of you all didn't feel like that was the case, though. And, and, yeah, kind of, maybe she got a little more of the spotlight than she needed, but, yeah. But, with these news girls, though, the one thing I do want to say is that they've done a pretty good job so far with the new solo songs. I am very happy with Mei and Shiki so far. I'm going to be jamming it out, out to those when those come out soon. But, you know, they definitely done some good things here. And the fact that we could potentially add more could mean more opportunities to add even more things we like. So, I haven't really seen a whole lot of people talk about going past 9, so don't really have a comment to show. But I'll play devil at Kidvit. You know, first and foremost, we already have seen the group's potential going to 10, 11, 12. Because we have with Nijigaku, where they had 10 when Shiriko added, and then Mia Nanju that then, of course, jumped it to 12. So we've seen it happen, and it, it works. It's a lot of girls singing, but we definitely have songs that just do a pretty good job. But it's kind of hard to really notice the difference between 9 and 12 because there's already so many people singing. But having that many girls, there's generally one of those girls you would likely latch onto. And hopefully they can, each of the new girls can bring a new dynamic. And one of the girls, of course, could definitely be Wynn. And the fact that she potentially moves from a rival status to actually being a main member can really help. Because if you look what happened to rivals, they often get ignored and... They get a song or two and that's about it. And we've seen that happen with Arise. Saint Snow got a little bit more love here and there. But, you know, not a crazy amount. And for Nishigaku, the rivals join the group. And we get to see that they get a lot more love. And people care and they become favorite characters. And it would be a shame if that would happen to And it's, That's probably going to happen to Sunny Passion, unfortunately. But that's part of the cool thing of them joining so that they can get more love and more appreciation and more time for people to care about them and it, it really sucks for that honestly by no means are we ever going to be moving back to five it's a done deal once it happens and decided we can't go back and it wouldn't be fair to say used to kick him out so that's not going to happen we already know we're going to go greater than nine this that's not the point of discussion if if we should get back i was just kind of more curious to see what you guys think about it and how do you feel about this now this potentially can try to come in effect with the link live love live which is currently six and what if that grows we'll have to see i guess at this point probably because they, that seems to be the trend you know, expanding expanding was a really cool new concept for love live when nijikaku became a thing so that was really cool and that was the first time thing and that was kind of special to nijikaku but now that's been kind of a thing into superstar but it happened in the anime, and the thing that I really like that, you know, we didn't get in previous anime for Love Live is that we got to see a progression of years as they grow up. And we got first years, and we then become second years, and now they're going to become third years. So we get to see a full three years for these girls as they grow up over time. Granted, those are pretty fast in years since it's only going to be three seasons. But it's still nice to see that progression, and they grow up and become basically the senpais and all and we get to see younger girls come in because that's how it would work in real life as you grow older some people will then join your group later 
And the unfortunate thing for the other anime is the fact since they already have third years, they can't really do a whole lot past graduation because what do you do with the seiyus and the girls? Do you just say, bye, you're tired, get out, and, you know, it doesn't feel right to do that. So it just, that is an impossibility. And so the, the fact that Lola Superstar can do this, I think was really cool. Of course, the girls that join later are always going to be high in content, but that's also true for Nijugaku. But... I've kind of, I've liked what they've done, although it's it's still kind of a shame that we are no longer with five because that was something cool and unique, and it really made sense why it was called Love Like Superstar because they had five. But I also kind of like the idea of them growing up a lot as well, and I've liked some of the new members. So overall, I do see this as a win because there are more girls to like. I'm sure from Love Ice perspective, they get more girls, which means more songs, which means more money, more opportunities to mer do merchandise and make more money. So I'm sure that's their prime goal. More girls, more monetization, and that means more happy for them. So in the end, I, I don't see this actually really changing or stopping per se. As long as peop they can produce songs that people like and characters that people like, you know, there's more opportunities for them to make more money. So in the end, you know, I don't think this discussion is going to change anything. But I was curious to see what you guys feel about it. And do you think Leela is going to get too big? I mean, for me, not really. 12 isn't too big. We already seen Ichigaku. It is kind of big. Especially because like that's more than double the original size. But it, I don't feel like we quite hit a critical mass yet. But I'm not sure what that would be. But, it, you know, especially if you're starting to 15, it's kind of like, that's kind of a lot, guys. Maybe you should chill. And there are other ways to handle adding new members, like making another project but that's right so much <laughs> oh man it's definitely a lot to keep track of but anyways let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below i know it's not going to change anything but i was curious to see what you guys feel about this and you know i i don't want people to get hate for liking just the original five or liking the new members it's in the end there's nothing we can do about it but anyways thank you guys for watching and hope to catch you guys in another video soon